Hi there, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can divide a 3D model such as this one into several parts so that you can 3D print it. This is useful if you want to print something larger than your print bed. So in this particular case I divided the model at the very bottom so that I can print this one upside down and this one on its back. So that upon being divided it won't have any separated, like the, I could have easily divided it right here and have had the hands floating in the air, which would not have made for a very good 3D print, you'd have to glue those together afterwards. So it's very important to keep in mind where you want to divide your 3D model. So let's say we want to divide it right where the knee is down here. So first I'm just going to delete these two and start with a basic model like this. So in order to get this view, press 5 on your numpad and then press 1. So 5 will make it go to this view and 1 will make it go to the front view. Otherwise, so if I press 1 on the numpad, it would go like that. So if you press Shift A, we want to create a cube. If you press G on your keyboard, you can move that cube around. Let's put it right around here. So if we press 3 on the numpad, we can go to this view. We just want to make sure that the cube is covering the entirety of the model. So right around here. And we can press Alt and then left click in order to look around or pan the camera. You can also press the middle mouse button. So before we do anything else, we want us to duplicate this model. So first select the model by right clicking on it, then press Shift D, then click in place. So now if you look down here, so if you look down here, it says model.001. If I click again, I've got model.000. So those, those are just duplicates. You want to keep one original. So I'll just press H on the keyboard in order to hide one of them. So this is the one I'm going to be cutting. So add a modifier. We want to add the Boolean modifier. Move this back a little bit. So for the object, select the eyedropper tool and select the cube. And for the operation, put it on difference and then just hit apply. And now if we move the cube out of the way by right-clicking on it and uh, pressing G, we can see that it is actually divided properly. So let's press Ctrl-Z, get that back in place, fix our view. And now we've got one half of the model. So by pressing Alt-H, we bring everything back. It doesn't look different, but uh, we, do, we now have the original duplicate there and the other one. So I'm just going to make sure this is the proper one. So that's the original. Let's press Ctrl-Z, keep that there. Right-click again. So this one we want to... So this one's all finished. We can easily 3D print this on the print bed. So now let's chop up the other part of the model. So zoom in to the, the very edge of the top of the cube. Left click on your mouse to move the 3D cursor there. Then you just want to move using a Z axis, move the cube until it's at the very edge of the 3D cursor. And make sure it's covering the entirety of the model. Do the same exact thing. Select the model, go to the modifier panel where this wrench is, add the boolean modifier, the eyedropper tool, select the cube, the operation will be different, apply it, and now we can just delete the cube and we've got two parts here that we can easily 3D print. And that's all you have to do to divide models generally and just glue them together. So thank you for watching, hope you learned something. If you have any questions leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them.